Today we're going to be installing a Stage 2 spoiler conversion kit on a Z51 Corvette. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Hi, I'm Ken. And, and you're, you're watching, watching the Corvette, Corvette channel. channel. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today we are going to be installing a new kit that ACS has for the C7 Corvette. It's to be able to convert your Z51 spoiler to a stage two or stage three. And so as you can see right here, uh, this would be just your stage two, and then you get the center bridge, and so you can buy them in different pieces. So if you buy these, the conversion kit, then you can always add the bridge later. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and show you how this is installed and it's it's not hard to do it just takes a little bit of time to make sure uh, you got to be careful when you're drilling the holes and that type of stuff and we're going to show you exactly how to do this and you can honestly see the the beautiful end result here so stay tuned watch the video sit back and relax and we'll show you how it's done all right guys we're at the car and we're getting ready to go ahead and put the wicker bills on and so I just want to go over this a little bit. Um, the kit comes with all of the, the nut zerts you're going to need, and the screws, as well as all the parts, and the instruction sheet, as well as a template. Now, um, you can see that there's part of the template here. I've already taken the liberty of cutting it out to be able to save a little bit of time for the video, and then you place it. You just cut this right along here. This follows the contour of the opening of the, of the uh, original splitter or excuse me, spoiler. So what we're gonna be doing here is that this template actually has, you can see here, there's a hole here and a hole here, same thing over on these two sides. So once we get those set, then we will be able to put the, the winglet on and then we'll take the, the uh, template off and we'll be able to put some blue tape here along, along this edge right here and here which will allow us to be able to get the other holes and we'll be using the winglet as the template to be able to drill those additional holes. So it's a kind of a two-step process here to be able to, to do it. Um, so you just the reason that you want to set these two first is because in this installation we're going to be doing the center bridge. Now the regular kit does not have the, um, the center bridge and you can always elect to put it on. And as long as you get these two holes set just the way they're supposed to with this template, then that center bridge will fit. If you, if you just put these up here and just willy nilly it on there, yeah, it would look okay for a stage two, but you may have problems later on down the road doing this, the, uh, the stage three bridge. So um, all we're gonna do here is we're just gonna drill these and we're gonna use them as a pilot hole. I'm just gonna use a eighth inch drill bit here and we're gonna drill those right there, okay? And then we'll go over to the other side. Eventually what we're gonna be going is we're gonna be drilling all the way up to 3 8 and we'll be installing these nut zerts here. And these actually, uh, they, they basically kind of act like a rivet um, and what they do is they pinch the plastic to be able to create a threaded, um, uh, what are you gonna call it? A threaded insert here. So. Your, your screws that it comes with can actually screw into there and it will stay tight in the, in the spoiler. So um, that's what we're gonna go ahead and do now. We're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna drill these right like so. Now guys, if the, if the camera gets a little wobbly, it's because my camera person today is Kim and this is her car. So, um, if she sees me drilling holes and it, she gets a little, uh, uh, little scared, you'll know why. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. All right. And the last one right here. All right. So now the next piece we're going to do here is we're just going to take this this off all right we'll put 
this off over here off the side. Now, before I get carried away, and now this is just me. I, I'm um, I don't like to take the chance that I'm you know I'm drilling drilling a big hole somewhere. I always hate drilling into the Corvettes anyhow. But as you've watched me many a time, I always get the EVGBs with it. But we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna set this up here just to make sure that we've got that I can see my holes and that we're okay here. There we go. That's about right. So you can see right here, guys, that's pretty much straight across. So that came out really good. So now we'll go ahead and we'll drill the, we'll drill the big holes, which we gotta get up to here. And I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to split the difference here and drill a little bit bigger hole, but not quite as big yet. Let's work up a little bit. monster Try to water it just a little bit. Instead of trying to fight it with a file. Getting there. So close. And that one I probably could force in. Just like that. Okay. And then we'll use a tool here in a minute to be able to get them to, uh, to tighten up. I say we're down to the last one. We're really not. We still got the other ones to do once we get this piece mounted. Okay. Now we'll move on with the nut zert tool. Okay. All right, guys. So 
This is what they call a nut zerk tool. And you could get this at car parts stores, you can get them on Amazon. While you're ordering your, your parts from ACS, they sell them too, so you can get one from them, okay? So basically all it does is it comes with uh, all the different size uh, threads, and I, I use this one all the time, so it already has it in there. Um, but all you're doing is you're gonna take this and if you can see what it does, it just, as you pull, it's, it's pulling the threads down. You can see that. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm literally going to screw this into, into this, okay? And then this basically acts like a rivet. So I'm just threading it in. And you could pre-thread this on and then you could put it in. But now that I've got it in there, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just squeeze it. And then you can release it just a hair. You'll be able to see how much you've collapsed it and you can do it again. Okay. And at that point, Now she's in there nice and solid. Okay, so we're just gonna do that over to the next one. Okay, two more. All right, guys, so um, what we're gonna do now is the, the kit comes with these little end caps, and what their, their main job is, is just to be a filler right here, okay, right here at the end. So you want it to be able to see how this will this will fit right at the top, and then it's gonna come down like that. You'll see it, it should line up exactly with you know, filling the edge of this, the splitter or the spoiler itself, okay? Um, you're gonna do that on both sides. So we're just gonna peel our stick tape here and we're just gonna go ahead and we're going to get this little guy adjusted in. There we go, just like that. Right. So now when we're done, you can see it's, a, it's, it's filling in right here. When we end up using the blue tape here, we're going to come all the way around and we'll be putting a screw through here also, okay? And that's going to lock that into the end of the, of the winglet. But we're going to go ahead and we'll do this on the other side also. Get that ready to go. And you can just basically set this right on the top of this wing, uh, the small part of the spoiler here, and just guide it in. Just like that. Okay. Just completes the wing to make it more like the uh, Z06 style that we would be normally having here. So that these wing, what these winglets are designed to work with. So now. We get to use our blue tape. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go like this. Just like that. Across there like that. And do the same thing over here. All right, so now I got a little carried away there. We need to put our screws on. So there's that, okay? So then 
We're actually taking the winglet and we're going to use the winglet as the template. So we're going to put these little guys on. And I got a little too carried away with the tape, guys. Let's pull these back. that. I'll get rid of this here too. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this on. And we'll put this one on. torques here. If I remember right here, what is this? A 20, I think it is. Let's see. It is it's a 30 torques. And you don't need to tighten them down super tight. You just need to snug them up. Now what it does is that you can see right along here, Kim, if you want to come down right here, right down below here, you can see that the gap is nice. It looks the same all the way across. So that's what you want, guys. You don't want it to be all pushed down or lifted up. You want it to have a nice seam right across there just like that. Then at that point, what you're doing, see you're pushing that up against there. We're going to get a pin and we're going to mark these holes, okay? that. This one, this one, and the one here on the corner. And then we'll put those nut zerts in on that also, okay? So what you're probably gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna wanna take like a big pin here and just take the inside out because it's kind of deep there. So you wanna be able to get to that blue tape. So you're just gonna circle it, get it, and you've already got your wicker bill exactly where you wanted it, and then you're just gonna make yourself a circle inside, okay? Just like that. And then hold it there like that. Make sure that it's not hanging down over here. You're gonna circle it there. Now at that point, we should be able to take this back off and we should have our marks. And there you go, you can see them. There's one right there, one right there, one right there. Okay. So now we're gonna do the exact same thing as we did with here and on the other side, okay? I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mark the other one just so we have it done so I can draw all of them at once. sure looks like we got a hole there and we got one right there and we got one right there so we're good to go so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna drill those holes we're just gonna start right here and work all the way to the other other side we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with our pilot hole okay now we're gonna move over to this one All right, so now we got the pilot holes done. So I'm just going to grab another little bit bigger drill bit. Okay. 
Now you probably could just step it all the way up to the big one, but I don't like to do that. I like to do them smaller and they work up. Okay, and now for the big one. Now that we got those done, we're going, to, we're going to take the tape off and then we're going to just repeat the same process that we did before getting in the other, the other nut zerts. put the winglets on and then put the center bridge on. The next thing that we're going to do now that we've got all of our rib nuts in is we're going to go ahead and we're going to peel our, we know that these have, I had, we've tested them to make sure that they already fit, right? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull our sticky tape back here. Okay, come on, there we are. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to start one of the screws right into here like so that into the end piece. You want to try to keep the tape off from touching the sticky tape until you get these totally set. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put these, I'm gonna put this screw and this screw in also right now. But we're gonna back these out, but we're gonna make sure that the sticky tape fits here. Okay, and I missed a screw right here. So we'll snug these up and make sure that the sticky tape fits exactly where it needs to go. Like that might be going in a little bit of an angle. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll start over here. Just want to make sure that the threads are all going to go in the way they're supposed to. That one's a little bit tight, but looks like it's going to go in now. Tighten that one down too. Okay, and then we'll go to the other side and we'll do the exact same thing over there. We're on the other side now. We're just going to go ahead and take the tape off. And like I said, you want to go ahead and try to keep the tape free here when you get these started. Just try not to let it really stick to the car. Just want to make sure that you get them all started. And we'll end up taking these two inner ones out again once we get this seated. Okay. Now that we've got these all seated 
Now, all we have to do now is we're gonna put the bridge on, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and take the screws out. We've taken them out of here, right? And we're just gonna go ahead and start those. Like that. Okay. You don't have to worry about adjustment yet until we get get it all done, get the screws in, and then we can adjust it. Let's get them started. Now, at this point, the screws are they're snug, but they're they're not tight. Now, this allows you to go ahead and adjust this this the uh, your piece all the way up to here. Well, actually, that screw wasn't totally in. So if you're at the track and you want more drag, okay, you would lift it up. That gives you more, more drag. Um, my preference, I like the look of this. So this is the difference between look and, and being at the track. I push it down like this, like that. So now you've got a little more dimension to how your, your spoiler looks, okay? So that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set it like this. If Kim ever decides she's going to go track the car, then she can adjust it up. That. And there you go. So guys, that's all there is to installing one of these. Uh, they, it's fairly simple installation. You just need to take time, make sure that you get your, your template on and that you uh, just take your time and mark everything before you drill into your spoiler. Um, you will need uh, the rib nut tool. So like I said, you can get that from ACS, so you can also get it from uh, car, car parts stores, uh, but you will have to have that to be able to complete this job. You're also gonna need a 30 Torx um, and uh, some drill bits. So, uh, uh, but like I said, you can see in the video that it's not hard. It's just a little bit of time that it takes to do it. So when it comes time for you guys to go ahead and put one of these on your car, uh, this is a great alternative to being able to make your, make your car have a stage two or stage three spoiler on the car without having to take the bumper off. So um, it can be, um, you've seen in a lot of my videos, that it's not that hard to take the bumper off, but if you're doing it yourself and you just don't want to do that, then this is a great way of being able to get the, the um, same look uh, without having to take the bumper off. So um, I'm going to put that information right here on the screen on where to get it. It's acscomposite.com. And be sure when you order it that you tell them that Scott from the Corvette channel sent you guys that you saw it on the video. All right. Um, other than that, guys, I just, again, I'm going to ask you again to please subscribe to the channel. If you guys haven't already, please do that. Those of you that have, I really appreciate it. Um, and like I say all the time, it doesn't cost you anything to, to subscribe. Um, it just takes a little bit of time to do it, and um, that's about it. But it really does help our numbers as far as sponsorships and uh, being able to get, uh, you know, products sent to us so we can actually do these videos on a regular basis. So anyway guys, I just want to thank you guys all for watching and you guys have a great night.